Hi everyone, Pete Pistoni here for Racing One Cast as we recap day number two of the 2008 Sprint Media Tour here in Charlotte. We wound up here at the Joe Gibbs Racing Shops, but before we got here, we had a very busy day, which started this morning with an announcement from Sprint. Of course, we'll be the new series sponsor for the Sprint Cup Series in 2008. Some announcements regarding the All-Star Race, which will be held again at Lowe's Motor Speedway this year on Saturday, May 17th, but will be known as the Sprint All-Star Race. It'll still be run in four segments, but those segments increase from 20 to 25 laps. And the preliminary race, which used to be known as the Nextel Open, this year will be known as the Sprint Showdown. From there, the tour went to the CNC Haas Wind Shear Wind Tunnel, only one of three such tunnels in the world with a 180 mile per hour rolling road. 5,100 horsepower engine powers the fan in this facility, and we met the 2008 lineup for CNC Haas of Scott Riggs and Jeremy Mayfield. Riggs, of course, will drive the number 66 State Water Heater Chevrolet, while Jeremy Mayfield will pilot the Haas Automation number 70. The afternoon session was a meeting with the Dodge teams. Five teams for Dodge this year with 12 different drivers, and many of the drivers were on hand, and they'll be known as the Dodge Boys in 2008. A return of the Dodge Charger is part of the 2008 plan for Dodge this year. Dodge also made an announcement that they would put a 2008 Dodge Challenger, number 43, on eBay with the money raised in that auction given to the Victory Junction Camp. Among the drivers we spoke with at the Dodge session included Gillette Everham Motorsports driver Patrick Carpentier, who takes over the Valvoline number 10 this year. And Carpentier talked about the new rule that NASCAR will put into effect, where drivers outside the top 35 will qualify in one group at the end of the session. I'm really happy about it. Last year we did Phoenix and Homestead, and uh, Phoenix we got uh, lucky we qualified towards the end, but Homestead we had to qualify up the front, and it was much tougher to make the race. So to have all of us together, especially at Daytona where the temperature can change in effect, it's so much. I mean, Michael Waltrip was uh, running half a second faster than us, and when we ran at exactly the same time on the track at opposite ends, he was only within uh, half a tenth from uh, the times we were doing. So it can vary so much. I think it's a great Great decision. And the day wrapped up here at Joe Gibbs Racing and an opportunity to meet the entire Joe Gibbs Racing management staff, which of course includes Coach Joe Gibbs, who comes back to the fold this year. He and son JD, the day to day business operator of this big, big uh, racing team here, on stage with all their drivers, including the three car cup team of Tony Stewart, Denny Hamlin, and newcomer Kyle Bush, of course, and also on hand development driver. Joey Logano, who's going to drive some of the Camping World Series races for this team before making his nationwide debut in Dover coming up this spring. Very busy day on Wednesday, which will include stops at the new Petty Enterprises facility in Mooresville, North Carolina. We'll also stop at DEI. We'll stop at Hendrick Motorsports. And the day will wrap up at Michael Waltrip Racing World up in Mooresville. So we'll have the recap for you Wednesday here on Racing One. Reporting from Joe Gibbs Racing, for Racing One Cast, this is Pete Pistoni.